Hello everyone, welcome back for the computer session and today we will learn lesson number one and lesson number one is all about computer ethics and crimes. So this is a new topic for you. So please pay attention and keep watching this video carefully and properly. So you will understand what is mean by ethics and what are the problems related with ethics and what are the problem related with internet and their protections. So the major points which we are going to cover through these lessons are first we will learn what is ethics. Then we will learn computer threats means the problem with the internet as well as the computer and protection from computer threats. So what are the protections are available related with the threats which are there in the right now with the uh, internet and computer. So all these points will be going to get very clear. So keep watching this video till the end properly and let's begin with the ethics. So what is ethics? A set of guiding principle for using computers without causing harm to other is called computer ethics. So this is the fundamental definition of ethics. But in short, if you want to understand, that means moral and principles to work on the internet. So there are some specific guidelines. There are some rules. There are some morals when you're using the internet, what to do and what not to do. For example, we have the traffic rules and regulations. Like when you're walking on the road, you're walking at the left side. Okay, left hand side. You're not walking at the right side, isn't it? Or when we are driving, we are taking at the left side. Always we should run the vehicle, either cycle, motorcycle, car, or either we are walking. So we should go at the left direction. So this is one particular traffic rules that we have to follow. The another now recent pandemic, we feel say now government is forcing us or uh, applying the rule for to protect from the Corona. Like we have to wear the mask. We have to sanitize our hands. So why this? This is for the our safety purpose. OK, so safety purpose. There are some rules are applied and that we supposed to follow, isn't it? So same way there are some rules and some principles are there on the internet when you are working on internet or you are dealing with the computer. So what you should do and what you should not. So in case if you are violating the rules, so the system may punish us. Same way if you are violating some rules on internet, okay, slowly and gradually in upcoming topics we will learn. So if you are violating some rules and regulation, there may be a punishment from the system. So we have to be aware what are the rules and regulations related with computer as well as with internet and some uh, threats. What we are going to learn through this lesson, that is, we have to look up. Okay, so the next topic which we are going to cover that is cyber threats and protection from them. So this is I was talking about the problems, threats. First problem is arrived with the uh, with computer or we can say with internet that is virus, virus, trojans and worms. So what is this virus? What is trojans and what is worms? That we are going to understand through these lessons. Then we will learn how we can protect, how we can protect our system with virus. Trojan and worms. So that we have to look after. So protection are like antivirus, firewall, and operating system update. These are the protection related with virus. So how and all that we are going to learn in the details. Then we will learn the next point. 
spyware or adware so what is spyware or adware what is the protection against spyware and adware then we will learn spam and what is the protection against the spam so in short in this lesson we are going to learn the problems as well as their solutions or protections then we will learn phishing and farming this is also new concept for you all so you need to pay good attention for this point phishing and farming and what is the protection against this problem phishing and farming then internet frauds and scam nowadays you can hear you must be uh, hearing some news in the news as well as in newspaper maybe you are reading or you are watching some videos related with scams and all frauds and through the internet so those frauds are taken place so what can we do the protection against that that also we are going to learn through this lesson also we are going to learn cyber bullying and protection against it this is very important topic for you all the children because online nowadays many people are teasing they are bullying what is bullying that also we are going to learn so you have to be aware of that and you can take a good advantage if you know the protection against cyber bullying otherwise you may suffer in future with the problem of cyber bullying so please pay attention then next is malicious smartphone application nowadays we are using everyone is using the smartphone android phone iphone and all so there are many malicious means dangerous apps and smartphone applications are there which may harm your mobile as well as your uh, financial it can, it can cause your financial problem some data theft problem so many problems can arise because of some malicious means dangerous apps which can harm your mobile so what are the smartphone safety measures so for to avoid these problems what smartphone safety measures we could take that we are going to learn so all together these are the points which we are going to learn through these lessons first we will learn ethics what is ethics rules and regulation morals and then we will learn different different problems threats which uh, comes through internet and how we can protect ourselves or our computer or our internet system to avoid such problems so let's begin with the first point so let's begin with the virus trojan and worms topic so these are the three harmful programs for the computer which comes through the internet so let's understand one by one each work and affects virus viruses are malicious code that attack themselves with program files and corrupt them they destroy useful data from or corrupt data storage or entire computer system can be rendered useless this is very dangerous program which attack through the internet and it perform a different different uh, affects for example computer may get slower computer may get hang it copied itself uh, it uh, actually it is designed for to harm the computer system virus is a simple program virus is nothing but a just a program which is harmful for a computer system and enters through a internet the next one is trojan trojan are the malicious program that are prompted as useful utilities or software and once it installed it affect the computer system and files there is a story behind this trojan this virus name is given trojan because of one historical story if i'll get the time definitely i'll tell you that story so this virus this type of trojan virus it pretend that it is useful program and once it enter into the computer system it start to make some disturbance to our programs as well as to the program files for example now you can get the free games free apps so these free apps and free games are actually shows you these are useful or you can get some attraction towards that 
but once you will install free game or free utilities program with that virus also will enter into your computer system so we have to be aware about this trojan and all next is worm worm is one also one type of program also one type of virus worm are the program codes that spread their copies over a network from one computer to the other computer and make the computer slower in processing so worm has the ability to copy itself it copying and replicating itself from it transport it has ability again to transmit from one computer to another computer and get spread so what happens when it get multiple time copies into the computer system computer get memory get load and computer get start to process slowly so uh, this is also one type of virus so just now we have learned three different viruses like virus trojan and worms okay so these are the viruses which are harmful for the computer virus trojan and worms all are the programs but harmful programs for the computer system so these are the problems so how we can protect our computer from these problems these virus problems so there are some protections like we can install another program called as antivirus software antivirus software helps you to protect against the virus it detect itself when a virus enter into the computer virus program enter into the computer it detects and verifies and sometime it deletes or sometime it quarantines next solution is firewall firewall also one solution or protection against the virus which attacks through the internet so which comes through the internet this is inbuilt a program with the operating system so which help us to protect from the virus which enter through the internet third one is operating system update so dear students first we have to purchase whenever you are purchasing any new computer we have to purchase with that the license copy original copy of the software which allow you the facility of firewall latest update as well as operating system update which protect your computer from the new viruses or new attacks so these are the three solutions for the virus first we have to install antivirus second we have to install uh, update the firewall as well as we have to update the operating system so there is a option for the firewall to on and off in the operating system so we should keep on so the uh, virus which attacks through the internet can be blocked now you can see in this picture here is your computer and here is the internet and there is a safety behind uh, between this protection so that is the symbolically it is present over there the <coughs> protection against the viruses i hope so you understood this topics the first one the first thread which comes through the internet that is virus and there are types of virus like called trojan and worms all functions are different different that's why it categorized like trojan and worm and virus now you know very well the protection against those virus and trojan and worms okay so install antivirus software on the firewall setting as well as update operating system so here we cover the first point that is virus trojan and worms let's understand now the next topic 